Nicole Simonin here of Shape It Up Fitness and today I have a very short video for you but it is a must do for first thing in the morning if I don't do this every morning my whole day doesn't run as smoothly as I like so I like to make sure that this is done first thing in the morning when I get up so if you are new to the Shape It Up channel thank you so much for being here and if you are a recurring Washer, thank you so much also for coming back and keep on watching those videos. If you are a woman over 40 who is looking to get fit and feel more confident in their skin and more comfortable, head on over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L. Be happy to help you out and get you started on losing weight and inches without crazy diets and without insane workouts. All right, so Today I am talking about how I get up at 4.30 a.m. I have 5 a.m. clients that I see in person. I also have online clients, but I don't have to get up at 4.30 in the morning to see them. But one thing that I must do is make sure that my coffee is ready. So what I do is the night before, now a lot of you guys probably have coffee makers that you can automatically set and then it starts your coffee for you. But there's more to the, what I do. So I like to get my coffee ready the night before and I put it in a Tupperware container because I like my coffee fresh. I used to be a barista back in the day when I lived in Annapolis, Maryland and I love the smell of coffee and I like fresh coffee. So what I do is I will scoop out the coffee, it's gotta be already ground, into a filler, uh, not a filler, a filter, and then I'll put it in a Tupperware container, and I will seal it because then it'll be nice and fresh in the morning. And I will also fill up my coffee pot maker with six cups of water. The reason why is I am going to be drinking my coffee throughout the day. So for me, this is kind of a time saver. Um, I don't mind the Keurig single cups, they're fine too, but um, Sometimes I like a little iced coffee, especially in the summer. So what I do is I prep my coffee the night before and I put the coffee off to the side and I put the water in and then I have my coffee with a little bit of collagen and that actually helps me get through my clients in the morning. Um, if you don't know already, I have uh, reactive hypoglycemia so I have to make sure that I'm eating every three to four hours and protein is the trick to that. I'll have to do a video on that at a later time. So once I get down here at 4.30 in the morning to start my day off with my clients, I put the coffee that's been in the container in the coffee maker and I push start and it goes and I don't have to think about it and then I have my cup of coffee. Um, and then what I do is I'll turn the coffee off and I'll leave it and sometimes later on in the afternoon or early morning, because I start my days early, I will either reheat the coffee or the key, I will take the rest of the coffee and put it in a container and put it in my refrigerator. And this helps get it really nice and cold, so especially in the summer when it's nice and hot, I can pour myself a nice cold cup of iced coffee. Um, I do do half decaf and half regular, so if I did a regular cup of coffee, I'd, I'd get a lot done probably, but I don't like the feeling, the jittery feelings. Um, I honestly really just enjoy coffee because it tastes so darn good. So the other thing that you can do with your iced coffee is once you put it in the fridge and it gets nice and cold, the next day you can drink it like an iced coffee or you can pour it into an ice cube tray and freeze it and then you can take those ice cubes and put it into your iced coffee so when they melt you don't get the watered down coffee, you actually get just more coffee. So those are my tips for you for getting up at 4.30 in the morning and having a cup of coffee ready for your day. And my daughter's over there making food. <laughs> so this is live, by the way, so who knows what'll happen. Um, anywho, so thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you're interested in working with me, you can go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call. C-A-L-L, -L, and request a phone consult with me. All right, have a wonderful day, and I have a special surprise on Wednesday, so make sure you tune in to Shape It Up, and I will see you before then. All right, have a wonderful day. Bye.